G'day, I'm Scotty Tucker. In this video, I just want to have a quick chat about azolla. So azolla is the um, tiny little fern-like sort of plant that forms a mass over dams when it grows out of control. In the background, you can see it's a, it's a vivid red colour or a deep red colour. It also will naturally change to green. It's not so much of a problem in a dam that's controlled with, uh, or that doesn't have excessive nutrients, but unfortunately most dams do. So what can happen is that the azolla comes in, it can multiply its, uh, or double its surface area about every 16 to 48 hours. So that means even in a dam like this one behind us, if you go away for you know, two weeks, a month or something like that, and there's a small patch of azolla in there, you can come back and the whole thing's covered. When it comes to treating azolla, and any type of weed for that matter, what we always recommend is that wherever possible you treat naturally, and that usually means mechanically removing as much as you can. That could be just old school getting in there with a pool net and just scooping it out um, with a boat. Uh, easy to do that on a windy day. If it all blows over to one side, you can get in there and try and pull it out. But in this case, it's just too big. But the principle remains the same. You want to mechanically rip out as much as you can before you do anything else. Um, so in this case, we need to use machinery. And here behind us, we've got our friends from Australian Aquatic Solutions, um, and they're in there to spend a day ripping it all out. What you do after that is then, as much as we really don't use to, uh, to use chemicals, um, we want to minimise the chemical use as much as possible, but really there's not much else that you can do when it comes to azolla. There are other types of uh, treatments that you can use, orange oils, which act as a surfactant, which cover the weed and, and might lose its, um, uh, its waxiness or its ability to float, so that'll sink it. They, those sorts of products can be a little bit hit and miss. They can work sometimes, other times they won't. Um, so ultimately, if you really want to get, get a good result, you do need to introduce an aquatic herbicide. And that's one of the main reasons why we recommend you mechanically pull out as much as you can, because one, you want to reduce the amount of herbicide that you're putting into the water. But the main reason is that if you were to do nothing else but spray a dam like this with a, a Zola that's this thick, um, what would happen is that when you get a good result and the azolla dies, it falls down to the bottom or drops down to the bottom. And what will happen then is that you get this mass of organic rotting material on the bottom of the dam and that just becomes compost fertiliser for the next generation of azolla or something else to come along and grow and take its place. That's why you want to pull out as much as you can, make piles on the side of the bank, let it dry out for a while. Uh, in the case of azolla, it's really good fertiliser. It's actually uh, grown and harvested in, uh, in some Asian countries to actually use as fertiliser. They also use it in, um, in uh, livestock feed um, once it's dried so, and milled. So it's got a, a variety of uses. So you can actually distribute it through the garden or if there's so much of it, you might just dig a burrow pit and just, just get rid of it or slowly, depending on the size of it, um, get rid of it through your, through your green waste. But it's easier to leave it dry on the side of the bank for a while and handle it when it's wet rather than dry. Um, but very, very important that those big piles of waste that you're going to pull out, imagine all those on the bottom of the dam just feeding the, 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 the next generation. So you do want to make sure that you get rid of it. Uh, also then a good idea, once you have um, sprayed what's left behind, coat it with, with some biological um, product, uh, some, some of the biased in pallets or tablets. What they will do is sink down to the bottom and clean up all the waste that's on the bottom as well, that rotting vegetation so that it doesn't build up. And then we're back to the usual suspects of aeration and regular ongoing probiotic treatment to stop it in the first place. Because ultimately azolla is not the problem, it's a symptom. The problem is normally excessive nutrient that's feeding it.